The One Piece card game market has gone crazy. It's gone mad. Yo ho ho sha! What is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joe Crew DMD, and I'm here in a new YouTube studio. I upgraded my studio. You can see I have my shiny cards and some nice arts behind me, but this is where I'm going to be making my videos now, so welcome to my new pirate ship. Anyway, the One Piece card game market has gone crazy. It's gone mad. I don't know if you've seen it or if you've heard about it, but it's really, 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 really hard to get these cards. If you want to get a sealed box of set one right now, it's like 250 bucks. It's absolutely wild. This game just came out in like December, so this is like unheard of, and the way if you want to get cards, you have to pre-order them. You have to, have to, have to pre-order them, and you can't just like pre-order them when the you know a couple months before you have to pre-order like way out in advance so like right now set four pre-order window is now open i know set two hasn't even come out yet set three allocations are already set and they're printing it set four is coming out in like september or something like that but if you want to get it and you want sealed boxes pre-order it now so i have a link in the description below it's to greg's games that's where i pre-order all of my one piece product that's where you can pre-order your one piece product as well and the way that they're doing it is you have to put in a request for boxes that you want there's a 200 dollars placeholder per box but they're not taking anybody's money right now they've done this a couple times with magic and with other big releases that they've you know weren't sure what kind of allocation they were going to get so basically your best bet with Greg's games is to put in a request for X number of boxes, the number of boxes that you want, and then they will make their pre-order based on those quantities that they're getting. So if you want boxes, put that order request in now. And in September, you're a lot more likely to get your boxes. The placeholder price is $200, which is high, and they know that but they're hopefully trying to bring that number down. The reality is as an LGS, it's super hard to break even. The amount that they make per box is negligible. So hopefully the boxes will be around like 100 bucks, maybe 150. I mean, it's possible that they'll even be $80 a box, which would be the best case scenario. But if you want boxes, just put in that pre-order, put in the request form, the link's in the description below and make sure that you pre-order this stuff way out in advance. Everybody's always asking me, Joku, how do you always have product when it's uh, now? And I can't get any boxes. It's because I pre-ordered it. I've already pre-ordered set four in Japanese. I pre-ordered set three in Japanese months and months ago. I pre-ordered set one like the day that's uh, open for Japanese and for English. I was on the phone with everybody I knew that owned card shops. And that's how I always have cards is because I pre-order way, 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 way out in advance to uh, thank myself in later in time. Anyway, that's the announcement for set four boxes. If you want them, hit that link, do the form, whatever. Um, but I have another exciting announcement about a giveaway. Yes, I'm doing a giveaway. As you can see, my shiny cards here that I've suspended from the ceiling so you can see them a little better in my new studio uh, from Kaizoku Cards. You can find them online at kaizokucards.com, but I'm doing a giveaway. So I want to tell a little story about how I got started with this. I wanted to make cards and well, the parts of the story, I guess I can't tell. But anyway, I wanted to make cards. I reached out to some of my friends that were artists that I liked the art of and I hit them up and I was like, hey, I want to make some cards. Can you guys draw these characters? So I had three characters drawn. I had Luffy drawn by Spirit Bomb. I had Law drawn by Stevenardo da Vinci. And I had Yamato drawn by my buddy Ben. So all of these arts, I'm gonna be giving these away. These are the first three cards I ever made and I'm gonna be doing a giveaway for these cards. You could win these cards. All you have to do is you have to go to the Kaizoku Cards Instagram page and you like the post, comment two of your friends' names, and then share the post to your story. This is the part that people like never remember and it makes it so that there's only like eight people that enter the giveaway so they have like a super high chance of winning. You have to share the post to your story and I have to be able to see it. So if you have a private account, I can't see it, you can't enter the giveaway. So like the post, comment to your friend's names that you think might dig it and share the post to your story and then you could win these three shiny cards. This is this is like super, super shiny, cool, fun stuff. The, the leader text is printed on the cases. This is how I make these cards. I print these, I design them. I have my friends draw the art and the text is printed on the case so you can take the card out and you can appreciate how beautiful the full art of the card is all on its own. Anyway, that's the giveaway. Pre-order your set four if you want it now. Hit that link in the description 
And if you want to join the giveaway and win some shiny cards, you can do that. They're also all available at kaizokucards.com. I also started making some new dons and stuff. There's some fun, shiny things that I've been doing. So I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to be posting more OP03 Japanese box openings. And OP02 is coming out soon in English. So we're going to be opening a heck ton of that as usual here. Don't forget to smush that subscription button if you want to see those videos. You need to hit that little ding dong bell so you get reminded when I make a video. And I'm a dentist. I can't end without doing a dental tooth tip. So my dental tooth tip, I've been having a lot of fun doing dental anatomy. So I'm going to talk about a little bit more dental anatomy. All the points, all the teeth that have points, those are called cusps. So like your canine back to your molar, they're all cusped teeth. Molars have multiple cusps. Bicuspids, which are your premolars, have two cusps. And cuspids, which are your canines, have one cusp. The canines are where teeth shift from anterior to posterior. So the canine is still an anterior teeth. And then the posterior teeth are behind that. All the posterior teeth have cusps and the anterior teeth have incisal edges, which are used for shearing food like when Luffy bites the meat off of bones. Those are his incisors that are doing that work. You can't tell the difference between most of his teeth in the animation because all anime characters' teeth pretty much look like incisors all the way across. Anyway, that's my dental tooth tip. Thanks for checking it out. Join the giveaway. Get some OP04 so you make sure, because that set's going to be awesome. It's red, purple. It sounds like the end of the world. Senku gozaimasu, sanku gozaimasu, and I'll see you guys. My, this is for the internet. The internet needs to see how great you are. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> cool. What you do for a living? Uh, a lot. I'm do a you? dentist, designer, YouTuber, pants maker. Oh my gosh. Card maker, professional Fashion card gamer. Booty <laughs> <laughs> waxer. <laughs> Sang Q. <laughs> Come on, you gotta do it with me. The three. It's like this. You do three like this. Yeah. Sang. Q. Yeah, yeah. San Q. Gozai Masu. Yosh Nakama des. San Q. Psycho Deriku. Psycho Deriku Fabric. Joku Abunai Yao. Ike men to go men. Yao. Arigato so much for your shiny fabrics. Mikey, thank you for helping me make my shiny pants all this time. Arigato Yao. <laughs>